John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. During testimony in her recent divorce case, Ramtha Chandler, Jay-Z Knight, said she has also channeled Jesus. And on a clear night, she can sometimes bring in HBO and the movie channel for free. <laughs> Vice President Dan Quayle will be in Tacoma on Monday. He almost canceled the visit after someone warned him about, about Tacoma smelling, and Quayle thought they said spelling. <laughs> Problems with the King Dome roof have been blamed on seagulls pecking at the sprayed-on plastic coating. Bird experts say that as the gulls are pecking, they're making noises that sound like they're saying, let us in, we can pitch better than that. <laughs> In a related story, Jeff Smullyan is writing a book about owning the Mariners. He says the book is coming along fine, although there was one minor setback when he discovered that someone else had already used the title, The Sorrow and the Pity. <laughs> the American Association of University Women wants Mattel to recall Talking Barbie because she says, math class is tough. Mattel has complied and will soon release a new Talking Barbie that says, math class is tough. It hurts my head. I can't do it. How's my hair? <laughs> Microsoft, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen wants to build a Jimi Hendrix museum at the Seattle Center. Allen said he tried to interest Bill Gates in the project, but Gates is already working on his own museum honoring that Urkel kid from Family Matters. <laughs> well, after nearly 50 years, the U.S. government has declassified top secrets of the H-bomb. Among the first secrets released are it's really loud, it's really bright, and it works really good. <laughs> Well, it turns out that during the Gulf War, Patriot missiles hit only four out of 47 targets that they aimed at. In light of this, the government has decided to rename the Patriot the Kelly Stoffer missile. <laughs> Finally, production has finished on a, a movie shot locally titled Sleepless in Seattle. The producers are reluctant to give away the plot, but they did admit that it's obviously not about Boeing workers. This has been the John Report. Thank you.